they see that there is a lot of uh, behavior that is uh, shady at best. You have said there are fundamental problems with it, that there's opaque dealings, potentially money laundering. Why is this happening? Well, you know, I'm a, just a minor collector of contemporary art. I do it not as an investment, but as a passion. But, you know, as I study and I go to galleries and art fairs, I see that there is a lot of uh, behavior that is uh, shady at best. Uh, some people use art, especially expensive art, as a form of money laundering. Because you can buy, for example, a piece of art for a million dollars or more, and you don't even have to register your name, and you pay in cash. Uh, there's no tracking of it to the financial system, and you can park it into a free port uh, in Geneva or some other parts of the world. Other people use money, uh, art again, for forms of tax avoidance or tax evasion. It's not a very transparent market where you have price transparency, and therefore, there, you know, the the brokers are getting a large cut out of it. There have been behaviors of auction houses that have been somehow uh, uh, problematic. So I would say, like any other market, you need a little more of price transparency, more information to make it more efficient. I'm not sure if uh, regulation is the solution, but certainly a code of conduct so that conflicts of interest that, for example, you have brokers and dealers who are presenting both buyers and sellers. When I buy a home, there is a broker that represents the buyer and one for the seller. When someone is playing both sides of it, there are conflicts of interest. So you have to make it a more efficient market, like is, other ones. Self-regulation probably might be the right way to go for now. Is the rise in shady dealings in the art market, does that coincide with the crackdown of the Swiss banking market? Uh, there may be a correlation in the following sense. You know, if you want to avoid taxes or if you want to launder money, it's much harder today to do so because there is all this new regulation and agreement between US, Europe, uh, with Switzerland about uh, uh, revealing the names and accounts of people who are putting money in their Swiss bank. So maybe an alternative is just to buy an expensive piece of art and just hiding it into a free port in Europe and you can keep it there for 20 years. Nobody can track it, it's not registered, nobody knows what it is. So, so that uh, becomes the equivalent of a safe deposit <laughs> in a bank previously in Switzerland. So there may be some correlation between those two phenomena, yes.